So GPs do not know who's getting tested positive in their local area because it's not, it's not going on one's health records. I mean, this is quite shambolic. And at the same time, the government have given a £100 million contract to call centres run by Serco and Sittle with tracers complaining it's chaotic and nothing, well, they've got nothing to do. I don't know if the minister read the testimony in the, uh, the British Medical Journal from a clinician working in these call, one of these call centres who wrote, NHS professionals employed us as clinical tracers. We were recruited by Capita. Sittle provided access to tracing apps and systems. These all require different usernames and passwords. Synergy CRM assigns, assigns cases. CTAS captures contact tracing information. Ring Central was used for voice calls. Max Connect was used for storing knowledge about contacts. And all of these systems were accessed through Amazon Workspace. I mean, this sounds a complete mess. And at the same time, the chief executive of uh, Serco is saying this is an opportunity for them to cement their role in the NHS. Mr Deputy Speaker, Serco shouldn't be an excuse for more NHS outsourcing and privatisation. Serco should be kicked out of our NHS and local public health officials and GPs should be leading the tracing response.